If you haven't been to Norwich in the summer, well, go and have a look at their excellent market. And if you're lucky, this chap will be around the shopping area playing some great music. Go on, empty your pocket. Just before we leave the market, I couldn't resist this second-hand bookstall. Books for £1.95, cheaper than Oxfam, and providing the enterprising bookseller with the living and the cheapskate caravanner, that's me, with a great selection of budget reading. We're at Norwich Park and Ride. The park and ride system is by far the easiest way to get into any city centre even if you're not the holder of a bus pass. Uh, the reality of the matter now is that to get into any city centre, especially one you're not familiar with, is really quite difficult and to park can be expensive and again difficult. It's difficult to find parking spaces sometimes. One of the things we've found so far in this 2011 season is how variable the park and ride deals are as well. In Gloucester a couple of weeks ago, park and ride was completely free. In Ipswich, you pay a £1.50 per party return fare on the park and ride bus if you all hold bus passes. If you're in Norwich, it's a pound apiece if you hold a bus pass and about £2.50 if you don't. So the bus pass is still worthwhile, but you don't get a free deal everywhere and the deal that you get in all the different locations can be different. And to round off the day, 15 minutes away from the airport park and ride, there's the rising sun at Coltishaw. Interesting beer, good food, although we didn't eat today, and the constant entertainment and amusement provided by Norfolk Broad's holiday boat hirers, whose new nautical experiences can be very entertaining to watch.